Hello, Tim Gable here from the Region Media Group. We're down here at the Lynham Hockey Centre in anticipation of uh, a big uh, come and try weekend, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Alongside me is Rob Sheeky, who's the CEO of Hockey ACT. And Rob, uh, great to see so many people, I guess, uh, looking to become involved in hockey. I hope that a few more come down on the weekend. Yeah, absolutely, Tim. I guess it's a, the whole uh, plan for Saturday, Sunday, Monday is for people to come along who don't normally play hockey and come along and, and give it a go, uh, as well as talk to all our clubs about how they can become involved and, and learn about the products we have on offer. So Saturday, Sunday in particular is focused at the, the junior level, but on Monday we're really excited to have a, a women's only come and try day, which is directed at uh, females of all ages, uh, to come down and give, it a, give the sport a try and all female coaches here to help them out. So yeah, really excited about uh, all three days. I guess that there is a, a market out there for it, isn't it? Especially if you can get people sort of just to find that it's, it's not as daunting as it might seem. No, well, one of the great things about hockey is that um, we have a lot of grades here to, here to offer in Canberra and also it's a, a sport you can play at any age. Uh, we have people as young as three and four playing in our competitions and we have people as old as 80 playing in our competitions. So once you, you're never too, uh, never too old to start hockey, I guess that's the great thing about our sport. You, you, your career can go for as long as you want it to. So, uh, yeah, so we're really encouraging people to come down and, and give it a go. Even if you're you know, 30s and 40s, want to try a sport that you haven't tried before, come on down and give it a go. All the information through hockeyact.org.au. Um, all the information about all the come and try days is coming down. Or on Saturday, we're here at Lynham at the National Hockey Centre in Mowat Street. On Sunday, we're at uh, Tuggeranong Hockey Park, which is in Soward Way and Greenway. And uh, back here on uh, to Lynham on, on Monday for the women's come and try. What time on the weekends? Uh, 9 to 12, Saturday, Sunday, and then at 6 p.m. start here on, on Monday for the Women's Come and Try. Good on you, Rob. But we'll have a chat to Emily now, but uh, just on the Canberra Chill Men's and Women's, you've decided on the coaches there? Yeah, uh, we certainly have. So Ian Rutledge will continue as the Women's Canberra Chill coach. Really excited. Ian's coached uh, both the Canadian and New Zealand international women's team, so really excited to have him back on board. And in the men's, we have had a change of coach of Shayon Atiri, who's a has been an assistant coach of the team for the last two seasons at that Lakers and Chill level. Uh, former captain of the Canberra uh, Lakers as well and, and still playing in the competition himself. So really excited to have Shea stepping up to his first head coaching role at, at that senior level. So uh, two great appointments. I think they're going to be really strong in the Canberra Chill. We're really positive about uh, moving forward. Being able to start our preparation already. Uh, to take, using COVID as to our advantage to have a, a longer pre-season and being small here in Canberra, great opportunity to get our players together and, and see if we can get an advantage on all our opponents. Thanks, Rob. That's Rob Sheeky. Alongside me also is Emily Robson, who's a member of the Canberra Chill women's team. And Emily, uh, just firstly on the Canberra Chill, you're back training? Yes, we are. We actually just had a session last night and a session before last week, which has um, been a great experience to be able to get on the pitch and start some running and stick work before the start of the season. I think it'll be great for our cohort and get us um, get the ball rolling for this year. You've been playing in the team for a couple of years now? Yeah, so I made my debut in 2019 and then unfortunately we weren't away, um, able to go away last year with COVID, but um, we had a couple all-star matches last year, which is a great way to get um, a lot of the women um, together and playing out of their club with each other and getting a good start to the Camp Chill. How did you start in hockey? We were just talking about come and try days. How did you start? Yeah, so um, my mum actually played hockey over in the US and then when she came to Australia, it was always a big part of our life um, and a family, her playing hockey. So that's how I got started and same with my brother. All right, and I guess you can endorse the fact that it's a great game to play. And yep, yep, Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think um, hockey is a great sport that you can take through with your family and your friends and bring them along and play for a long time. Okay, and good friendships amongst other things? Yeah, definitely. I think the people that you meet going from juniors, you continue being friends with throughout your whole life and you make new friends along the way. Good on you. Thanks yeah. very much for that. All no the best worries. for this season. Thank you. Thank you. That's Emily Robson. Before that, Rob Sheeky down here at the ACT Hockey Centre. This week's Sports Wrap, proudly brought to you by Baldenag. Welcome back to the Region Media Sports Report. I'm Tim Gable. Uh, just quickly going around the grounds. Now the Brumbies play a home game, their first home game in Super Rugby AU on Saturday night at Canberra Stadium against the Waratahs. No restrictions on crowd size. The Brumbies had a very good victory last weekend, 27-11 against the Western Force in Perth. But the Waratahs went down 41 points to 7 to, to uh, Queensland. So you'd imagine that 
The Brumbies would start the red-hot favourites in that game. The Raiders play a trial Saturday afternoon at Seaford Oval against the Sydney Roosters. The Curtain Raiser, the Raiders taking on North Sydney at 2pm. And Josh Hodgson set to make his return from surgery in that game, 4 o'clock Saturday afternoon against the Sydney Roosters. You've got the Canberra Meteors. They've uh, got a game coming up in the next couple of weeks against the New South Wales Breakers and the Women's Cricket League. And on Sunday afternoon, Melbourne victory up against Canberra United and Canberra after two losses in a row looking to bounce back in the W League. This is Tim Gable signing off for the Region Media Group.